Adventures rested in the Shattered Keep within the chaotic realm of Pandemonium. They then enjoyed dinner with Sirik as Char made an entrance and confronted him. Sirik then betrayed her and used the Shadow Weave to free Vecna from his prison. In the Domain of Dread, the Lich captured Char and took her into his realm. Sirik now, with all 12 Iron Keys, broke free from his prison, attacked our heroes, but was killed by a, the mysterious Steve, who was hiding within Tex's bird gun. He now holds open a portal to Citadel Covididis, and we will leave that and move on to where our adventures are. The disintegrated ashes of Sirik lay in a dust pit pile in front of Steve. He, Steve turns around and he, he sees all of you and his, you can see his face. His face starts turning from a drow and then a gif, a dragonborn going through multiple different faces of humanoid figures throughout all of D&D. He says to you guys, you guys need to stop Vecna from ascending into godhood. I can only hold this portal for so long. But well, I'm going to be walking towards the portal, but I'm going to I want to ask him, who are you? That is a question that I cannot answer. Not here, not now. And the citadel or the shatter keeps now begins to rattle and parts of the ceiling begin to show cracks as dust begins to fall down as you can see and feel those actually and everybody can roll me an arcana 17 okay 16 right. nine so, <laughs> and a nine so you guys can feel well Arendelle and uh, Charles, you both can slightly feel that the weaves that are holding this universe together are beginning to flex. Uh, that's about as much as you can uh, tell with that. Oh, this room's falling apart. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll just, uh, before I jump through the, the portal, as I'll duck my head before I jump through and say, uh, I'll send him a divination and ask him a question later, and then I'll jump there. Okay. And he nods, and Kiergan, what are you doing? Um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm just following along for right now. Okay, so you, you head through this portal that he's holding up, and I assume Jace... We did. You. Yep. Sorry for interrupting, but we no. did see him come out of the bird gun, didn't we? Or He transformed from the bird gun to his form now. Okay, well, in that case, I trust him enough. He was he's, he was hanging out with Tex for a long while. Yeah. So all the random shit we got up, and yeah, he, I trust him enough. Okay. So I'm going. Okay. So... As you enter the portal, you find yourself surrounded by swirling mists of brilliant color. There's really nothing else that you can see as you turn left and right and try to orient yourself to where maybe that portal was behind you, but you, when you turn around to look, all you see is this swirling mist. And can you all roll me a constitution saving throw, please? Looking for 15 or higher. 
Well, I got an 18, so that's pretty cool. Nice. 22. 22. Okay. And what you guys are feeling is something is beginning to try to uh, disorient you, kind of make you dizzy, lose sense of direction. But with those rolls, you fight it off, whatever this mysterious uh, presence is beginning to uh, try to disorient you, doesn't affect you. What are you guys doing? Uh, I'm going to look around. I mean, like, where, where are we at now? You just see swirling mists of brilliant color, and there's nothing else you see. Okay. Uh, can I detect magic? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to detect magic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the mists are not magical. They're of a different source. What you okay. can't... But other than that, you see magic around Kyrgyz swords and uh, Charles is a book and his different magical items and, your, and stuff that you're wearing, but that's it. Through the portal already? Yep. You're through nice. the portal. Cool. All you see is swirling mists. And, um, so Charles, roll me a constitution saving throw for 15 or higher, please. 15. Hey, you just made it. So, what happened was there was something with the miss is causing you to become disoriented, but you fight it off, concentrate and get a hold of yourself and the whatever the miss was trying to do doesn't work. What are you guys doing? I'll grab on to everyone else. Okay. Yep. And begin enough. to walk forward. Yeah, is it like, is there ground beneath our feet? or? Yeah, so there is soil under... Okay, it's fine if if we fall. I I have a feather fall. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, I can finally stop preparing feathers and all. Yep, the ground does feel uneven and spongy uh, as you continue to walk. Then... Through the mists, I need somebody to roll me a perception, please. We'll leave that up to our monk. No monk's one. not here. Yeah, the so monk's not here. Uh, okay, Mr. so my perception is plus six. What about you guys? Oh, jeez. Plus six as well. I have a plus one. Uh, can we? Can I give the help action? Uh, both of you guys roll me a perception, and we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, that's basically the same as... Uh, yeah. Wow, you got a 9, I got an 11. That's okay. terrible. That's rough, you know? Talk so, you before you guys can see it, a shadowy figure with a scythe steps out in front of you, and he points in a different direction, and he says, You are not welcome here. You must go hence and points in a direction. I'm going to act right here. I'm sorry, what was that? I think I'm going to activate a blade song. Okay. Where's here? Where are we not welcome? And where are we going? He just has his finger pointed in a direction off into the mist opposite is of that he's at. I'm gonna ask is that the place that we are not welcome that you are pointing to or the place that we have to go you must go this way and he continues to keep his finger pointed you, you well, you that address. I'm sorry what was that Jace 
are you? I'm asking him, who are you to guide us? You must go this way. Who you serve, Vecna? You must go this way. Well, guys, can we go that way? Oh, I guess we're going that way then. All right. All right. Um. Oh. Yeah. So looking down that way, can we see anything, or does Swirling an eleven mist. perception not? Swirling mist. Okay. So there's there's no like we can't see like the sun like in the sky just slightly giving a shadow to something in the mist like a castle no. in the distance or something. Nope. Just this multiple multicolored mist. Sort of like the flogist in a little bit. All right. Okay. Um, this guy, I think he either wants us to leave or he wants to kill us. Either way, we should probably not do what he says. <laughs> like, I'm not saying this out loud, and I'm just saying this as Ruben, not as Kyrgyz. Uh, got it. We shouldn't do what he says. <laughs> Oh, we don't have any other indication of direction, do we? Uh, Steve wasn't like, hey, go straight. He was just like, go on the portal. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, yeah. Fuck it, I mean, I guess we can We can always come back. What about if we do, like, catacorn, like, half his direction, half the way we were going? <laughs> Would Steve be able to even, like, hold the portal up longer for us? Is the portal gone, did you say? Uh, you couldn't... See the portal. All you saw when you stepped through, all of a sudden you were just surrounded by mists that were trying to disorient you. And you I'd say, seeing guys, he didn't go over and attack us immediately, even though we barely saw him in time. Uh, if he yeah, wanted he, to attack us, he probably just would have attacked us. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking too. So we might as well just go the way he's telling us to go. Okay. All right. And, Kurgan, if we're wrong, you get to say I told you so as we're dying. Exactly. Yeah, but we'll be dying as I say it, so... <laughs> Come on, let's, let's go, go, uh, okay, let's go the way he pointed. Okay, so you travel for six minutes, and then you see another robed figure. And this one says... You must leave this place at once, or perish. How do we leave this place? You must leave this place at once, or perish. Okay, it's another recorded message. Let's just keep moving. We've perished before. Yeah. We have? He's not even going to give us a direction. He's just going to say leave. We've gotten pretty close before. I reckon we'll be okay. Uh, can we just walk past him then? Yeah, you can walk past. So he's wearing like what? A big. He's, he's wearing up, like. He's Reaper like style. Uh, the standard death, you know, with a gotcha. robe yeah, and a scythe. Cool. Yeah. His face. He's definitely undead with his face. Gotcha. And as you continue on for six plus one, two minutes. All three of the or three of these guys with these size said, "You have been warned," and roll for initiative. Oh, oh snap! Oh, they were serious. <laughs> I mean, where they expect us to go? <laughs> I mean, they didn't tell us where to go. I know. Well, I got a nineteen. Module, they didn't even <laughs> tell you. All right. So, oh, Charles, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. All right, I got 13. Charles got a 15. I got a and, 6. Oh, nice. No. First natural one of the game. All right, way to start. No, actually, off. no, I'm going to I'm gonna silvery barbs that one. Is that, a, is that silvery barbsable? Yeah, I know. Is that, yeah. I don't know how that spell works. It is. Well, it's an ability check. Barbs. Oh, yeah. It nice. is an ability check. There we go. Initiative is a dexterity-based ability check, so, yeah. All right. So, I got a two anyway. It didn't matter. Oh, oh. wow. Woo. All, All right. right. So... We got one better. All right. Kirgan, what are you doing? Um, right then. Uh, so... 
I'm going to rage. Uh, All right. So that's one of my five uses now. I get an extra use, which is really cool. And I'm going to draw my great sword of the gruel. Okay. And I'm just going to go to the the first one. Yep. And I'm just going to attack him. Do it. Uh, let me check something. I think I have brutal critical. You should. Let me just read that. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll we'll figure it out. That already won't. Uh, first attack is a 19. Hits. Uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be 11 slashing, okay. plus, uh, 4 fire, okay. 1 cold damage. So that mm. is a total of 16. Well beyond bloodied. Oh, sweet. Uh, okay. Next attack. Uh, that's only a 15 to hit. Same one. Uh, yep. Yep, it hits. Okay, that's another 11 slashing. Uh, do you want to make it lethal? Um, they just do recorded messages. I think I might want to... Oh, but Vecna, he might be like, oh, my guy's dead. Who knows? I, wish I think I might want to just knock this thing out. Okay. How do you do that? Uh... So the first slash is, like, across his, like, bony chest or whatever. And then the second attack is I'm just using the flat of the blade to just smack him in the head. Okay. And he's out. All right. All right. Charles, you're up. All right. Can I maneuver so that I hit the other two but not cure again with my pulse wave? Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll maneuver there and just... You can launch this wave of force into the mist and just kind of blow some of it back and hit these guys. Okay. So they need to make con saves, please. Con save, two of them coming up. Let's see, where's my... Does that work? Yeah. A five and a 19. Okay, so the five fails and okay. the... 19 succeeds. So the 5 takes uh, 21 points of force damage Oof. and is blown back 15 feet. Oof. And the other one takes 10 points or 11 points if you round up. Okay. And it's not blown back. All right. And damn, that thing just disappears into the mist, just flies, and you hear it hit the ground. Don't, don't see it. Uh, it, the one with the ghoul like sneers uh, leaps into the air and is going to take a bite out of you uh, Charles okay. and oh, does a, hungry little fella. a six hit <laughs> a six does not okay so how do you block this all right, so and this is the one that resisted? Yeah. Okay, so the uh, my spell still kind of had him shaken up a little bit, so he jumps at me, but it gives me enough time to kind of like throw up my arm and kind of like it hits the uh, the arcane shield that's woven into my skin. Yeah. So it just kind of bounces back off. And crawling out of the mist. How, how far back did you uh, knock him? 15 feet. Okay, so he's definitely crawling towards you. And you don't see it in time, Kurgan, as this one's going to try to bite your leg. Does see it. a 20. Um, yeah, 20's gonna bite me. Oh, he gets you Probably right on the calf. Me. Just big, all of a sudden, you feel like this intense pressure on your leg you look down and this ghoul's got like his teeth sunk into your calf all right ow Ando, you're up gotcha and they, these are ghouls does it do? yeah these okay, are was, was there damage uh or six, yeah never mind yeah six but I, I think don't ghouls paralyze on bites let me see uh it might be a not fifth edition this thing one. We're like, the, we're like the kids that yeah. you have to make homework after class. Yeah, this so one basically it just get, got, got its mouth around my leg and then nothing happened. No damage, no... 
That's a claw. Claw claw attack takes the paralyzed. Okay. He bit. Yeah. So what's the point of the bite then? Does it just keep me still? I always thought the bite had poison saliva or something like that, but I could be wrong. No, I'm in D and D Beyond using Beyond Twenty. It doesn't have it on there. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Strange. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will. So there's only there's two alive right now. Um, there is two alive. One's badly broken. His back is twisted uh, from the force that Charles uh, gave him. The other one is still doing all right. One's on Charles and one's on Kurgan. I mean, I'll, I guess I'll just uh, run in since I have Blade Song on and then draw my sword in like a flurry and attack twice at the one that is I'll get the one that's on a wizard it's okay. like it's a more pressing one yeah. <laughs> alright so here is one attack oof yes for sure okay and I will make that I mean I probably don't even need to but okay if, if he's still alive I'll, I'll, I'll throw a cantrip on this uh, 13 or the the 9? 13. Uh, that'll be the 13, because we'll okay. Yeah. So, do you want to make a lethal? Uh, I mean, I guess no, because okay. we didn't make a lethal before, right? <laughs> I guess we'll just keep with that. Okay. And how do you make it non-lethal? Um, I'll just, like, hit it with the butt of my sword. Okay. In the back of the head. Okay. Conscious. Um, Puppy cat. And then after that, I will move to the other one. Yep. And in like a spinning flourish, stab down. But my blade is going to light. Uh. My blade's going to start to glow, like this kind of bright light. Like holy, holy light! Nice. As I stab down. No, I don't. So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh yeah, natural one. And Ooh. as you bring the sword down, it sees just enough. Takes his bite uh, or his mouth off a of Kurgan and rolls out of the way, and has your foot in his arm, and he and he's going to try to bite it on this next turn. Okay. I gotcha. Um, and back to top, Kierkegaard. Uh, right, uh, I guess I'm gonna try and get this guy off of my leg. He's off. If he's... He rolled, oh. and now he's got attached to uh, Arendelle leg as, uh, or his arm. Right, the block Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna bite. try and get him off uh, Arendelle. Okay. Roll to attack. All right. That is a 19 to hit. Hits. It's going to be 15 slashing. And I assume non-lethal? Yeah, I'm non-lethal again. Okay. And as you knock this one out, all three burst into ravens and the fly up into the air in the mists begin to dissipate and the thick fog lifts and you discover that you are at the end of a blind alley in an unfamiliar city. The only light around you emanates from a crystalline skull-shaped lamp mounted on a wall bracket about 10 feet high. At the entrance to the alley a light very cool breeze stirs your clothing and you hear wind moaning loudly overhead the walls around you are strangely smooth and off-white in color surrounding you on three sides a row of second floor windows black and lightless can be seen 15 feet overhead as you look up, you have a sensation of being in a canyon. The buildings around you rise in 
astonishing nine full stories into the dark sky where angry dark clouds rush along driven and torn by distant gale force winds. The rough cobblestones at your feet are littered in splintered bones, scraps of paper, broken glass, and pottery. Several huge dead rats and splattered garbage and waste. The stench of rotting meat and ripe sewage wafts up from a nearby sewer grate. The air is quite cool as it is almost winter. Do you see uh, the, this map here the, where it says party appears here? That's a skull mountain. Yeah. So that is the alleyway where you guys appear. Do we place ourselves there? Um, yeah, you guys can. You don't need to. Uh, you can do one as a group. Just to, like, let you guys... Yeah, that Citadel isn't ominous at all. No. So, what are you guys going to do here? I'm just going to comment that I hate the smell of human cities. <laughs> I mean, I don't typically mind the smell of, like, cities and stuff, but, um, I guess it's a, this one is definitely weird. I mean, do you see that giant skull castle mountain thing over there? Yeah, do we have a view on that? Yeah, you do. You do see. There's no way that that is not where we're supposed to go, right? (laughs) Yeah. Not yet. I'm racking my brain and seeing if I've read anything about Citadel Avidius before. Uh, sure. It's going to be a high roll for either uh, religion or history. Anybody can make this roll. Looking at a 21. Let's go. What? Oh, natural 20? Oh, oh man. Go well, we're man. definitely going with a natural go. 20. Okay. <laughs> right. So, kind of like the Shattered Keep, this, uh... This has been his home uh, forever, but he it had been moved and placed into the domain of dread. And there are two domains kind of connecting each other. This one and Tovag which is the domain of Kos. And what you know is that there has been a war between Vecna and Kos forever. And that's what you know with that natural 20. Nice job. And I know who Kos is, right? What's that? Do I know who Kos is? You know that Kos was once his bodyguard. With that natural 20, I will give it to you. You know that Kos was once Vecna's bodyguard that betrayed him, grew jealous, and actually was the one that cut his eye and hand off. And Vecna vowed revenge. And now they are in this endless battle here in the domains of dread. And... Remind me, this was a while ago. Vecna was one of the people that was in my head, but then he got beat out by the Draco Lich lady. (laughs) Right? Um, no. Vecna is the one that is controlling your eye. Oh, gotcha. Well, I'm sure that won't come up. You are never, you're never able to go to Aranda's fall and yes. get the mark yes. of death. Correct. Okay, cool. So, we're in the Shadowfell then, right? You are in a bubble within a, a bubble domain within the Shadow. Shadowfell. Okay. Well, uh, this is bad. Nothing. <laughs> we head straight towards... Are you yeah. sure? I think it's. I think it's fine. Should we head straight uh, towards the uh, the evil giant castle, or should we try to find like a bakery first? <laughs> Why do we want a bakery? Hey, 
What, do you not like baked goods? Yeah. Oh, you don't like fresh bread? I mean, I do, but... Cinnamon rolls? I, like, <laughs> turn around and just look at the scenery. I don't think it, that if there is a bakery here, it's going to be A, open, B, any good. Yeah, but if there is, bakeries are always run by good guys. Well, I guess we might as well just get to it. Seeing as he probably knows we're here since we're in his domain. Yeah, and also his weird dead things turn into birds and I think they flew off to the castle. Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll meet Keith, the baker. (laughs) Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Maybe Keith has a shop here. Probably uh, better for us to go find him before he goes and finds us. Yeah, let's uh, let's get walking. Which way you uh, heading? Uh, north, south. Move your icon towards the big castle in the background. Yeah, we'll check it direction. Yeah, that's my hope. So I guess we go this way or something. Okay, let me reveal. This is what you see. So as you emerge from the alleyway, you see two men raggedly dressed make their way down the street, their eyes sunken, and their spirits obviously broken. Yet they apparently have the presence of mind to dart to the other side of the street as a troop of animated skeletons, terrible in their finery, and armor marches past them, weapons held high. As horrible as the sight is, however, the two men seen were more leery of the dark shadows into which they had been forced and rightfully so, it would seem that these shadows move and waver as if they had their existence of their own. Okay, observation. Yeah. Uh, looks like we cannot hide in the shadows from the skeleton cards that are walking through the city. <laughs> okay, well that's going to be a bit of a problem. I guess we can assassin creed this and jump from the rooftops, right? I guess we can assassin do that. I mean, yeah, we can try. Can turn two of us into a uh, birds or something, or we could just maybe he'll be like, "Hey, come have dinner." What happened with the last? Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's shot. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. That's how this is gonna work out. It's that route. It's that those skeletons, if I can. Not we too can hard, take skeletons. Yeah. But... I mean, we can get on the rooftops if we feel like climbing. Yeah. I don't mind it. Right. And I'll just, like, start walking straight up the walls. Okay. And... I'll just I forget he can do that. It's weird. And you're going to tell uh, I guess I... Nine stories tall. Oh, All nine of them? stories tall? Yeah. That's what it said. Nine stories. So I'll, I'll get up, like, 15 how feet. How tall is nine like, stories? Yes. How, how many feet is nine stories? Like 90 how? feet, what? I think. Uh, yeah, is that I think 90 it's... feet? I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Story. A, I mean, that's, damn people who can be like seven you know, feet tall or even, even I'm eight. I'm not going to lie. I might want to reconsider that. Not <laughs> jumping okay. from nine story building to nine story building is a little bit different from jumping <laughs> from short building to short building. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Works for me. And I'll walk back down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty tough. I could probably do it. I've got big, strong legs that could jump me across. We need to. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not down to your legs. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, the second that you fail <laughs> the jump is going to be the problem. Don't worry. You can always silvery bobs me. <laughs> we got feather fall. We'll be fine. Yeah, I'll feather fall. Uh-huh. So we'll be one of the two. So are we going to climb up now or what? Um, I, I'd probably rather just take my chances with the skeletons on the street. Maybe they just want to attack us and they see us. Or if they do, I mean, we can we can take them out. Yeah, works for me. Let's just uh, be a little subtle. How many skeletons were in that last group? Um, it said... Control, I guess. I would say, let's see, add to this roll here. So, yeah, about almost 30. Oh. Okay. That's, That's more than three. That's quite a bit. Um, but they, they are already moved past and away 
as of right now, further away. And what you see, the two men darted off. There seems to be more residential buildings around you. There are some old women tending laundry. Uh, everybody has a very downcast look. Some, they definitely, I don't know. Are you guys stepped out into the opening yet? Can I mimic that look of downcast look? And then can I pull the hood over my head like a heavy cloak on it? You can roll me a either performance or deception. I will take my chances with performance. In your fancy cloak. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Then that one's are just coming today. Oh man, <laughs> you're either getting ones or twenties, man. Uh, Holy cow. Oh my god. Yeah. So, uh, what 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 happens here? How do you fail this miserably? I let's say that like I went over and the only cloak that I have in my bag is like an illustrious, like super nice noble cloak yeah. that like stands out. And then I put it on, <laughs> and I stand out even more. Yeah. <laughs> Here, uh, Arondo, you can you can have my cloak for this if you're trying to be subtle. I think it'll match a little better. Are you sure? It's it's not like you don't think that you, you think this is too loud? Just a little bit. Wrong audience. That's all. Oh, so, oh okay, okay, okay. I just, just hold my cloak back up and <laughs> put it back in my bag. <laughs> and take his cloak. <laughs> you, uh, you see to uh, up ahead, there is a couple of soldiers, humanoid, dressed in these black armor, black cloaks, with a red hand on it with the eye in the middle. And they step into this building. Um... Somebody can roll me a perception, and we're talking about this building right across from you here, right here. I would say that I could roll it. I'm a little You're scared, though. I got a 16. Okay, nice. so you... I've got the same bonus as I do, as you don't I? Open it up, the no. door, as it open the door, you look, and you can see in Kurgan, and you can see it's uh, a bar. There's tables... And before the door shuts, you see a bartender in a bar. It's a... I, I didn't really expect it, but there's a bar here. You want to you know, even go and get a drink, ask questions? I don't stuff think like we that. should go ask questions, seeing as guards just went in there. That's true. Do you think we could go in and, like, sneak up and just stealthily, like, execute the guards and whatnot? Well, geez, we don't know that they're bad guards. And we also don't know if we're going to alert the whole city to us and get attacked. Yeah, what if, what if all the citizens are loyal? Oh, well, they, they did you see, like, the out. cloaks? They've got the they've got the, the hand and the eye on it, and that's like... It's yeah, like no, they seem... They seem his really stuff. Yeah, but I don't know if we can... Uh, like, the three of us can assassinate a group of guards. Was it, like, six of them or something like that? There was two. That walked there's in, two. but... Oh, there's two guys that walked in, okay. Wait, so we're gonna kill guards in front of citizens? Well, how about we just go inside and see how they're doing, or we just keep moving. Well, we what, what, do we, what do we expect to gain from going into the bar? Information, I think, and a drink. I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, I, I, I'm thinking that we should keep moving, but it's up to you guys. Jurgen? It might be a good idea to keep moving because we don't know if there's like 50 other guards already inside there. Yeah, and if we go in are. and there might be, hey, you guys are new. New people don't come here. We're going to kill you. You might think we're spies for cows. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Fair enough. Let's keep moving. All right. Move yourself up one, Kiergan. All right. All right, so you guys are going near the door of the bar. Uh, there's no music being played, but you could hear uh, the cacophony of voices inside, and there's windows. So if you want to avoid the windows, you may all roll me a stealth, or you can just... Yeah, I'm going to roll stealth. Go for it. Okay. 
Here we go. Oh, right. So, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, not bad. It's plus not one. Bad. Crested digitation says that you can soil an object no larger than one cubic foot. So can I make this window dirty as we're passing by? Um, sure. Yeah. To try to make it a little harder to see out of it. Okay, you can roll me that. Well, I'll, that'll be perception for me uh, with this advantage here. All right. 21. And Kurgan, what did you get? I got a 15. All right. Let's see. I have two soldiers. They sit down. You're going to add plus five to these rolls here, but with disadvantage. So a 20 and oh a 19. Wow. Oh my god. And so a 19 and a 19 and a 2. So I got one Can person. I? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to silvery barbs. That I'm gonna 20 use and my 19. Silvery barbs. All right. So I'll that roll 19. again. And a 3. Okay. Oh, lucky. So oh, we give the the advantage thing too. Yeah, so that that was like the leftover disadvantage cuz I didn't use it yet. Um from me using it earlier. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they were sitting down, they got a drink, they're by the window, you walk through, and as you walk by, the dirt kind of starts to form up, Charles, right? Yeah. Yeah, just kind of like making the windows dirtier than they were a second yeah. ago. And this guy's just looking at the window, and he thought he saw something, but then what happened? Aaron like... I'm going to be honest, like, fate, like, reversed. <laughs> so that's pretty much the yeah. best I can explain it. Like, okay. He would have saw us, but fate, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, touched. as soon as he came up and he was going to look and see, uh, somebody caught his attention and called his name out, and he turned around and he started talking to somebody. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a coin rolled up and bumped yeah. on his foot. He, like, looked out at it and picked it up. It's like, oh, my lucky day. All right. So... You can move yourself right, uh, right here, Kurgan. One over to your right. Okay, and as you guys are here, you see propped up against the side of the building just north of you is a legless beggar whose face is rotting away from something. And he calls out you you look like you have some food please please help a veteran of the war please uh yeah we can yeah. i'll give him three electrum pieces what, before before you do that, i'm gonna like, put my hand on your hand i want to say well we usually don't like to give things for free but I'll, I'll give you one gold piece for some hey, information. What what information do you need? Could you tell us more about the war? Oh, the war? Well, I, I am a veteran of the war against Tovag. I became... I in yes. Sorry, can I insight check him as he says that? Of course, go for it. See if he actually is a veteran. Yeah. That's a nine. And oh, natural one. He's he's telling the truth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um. um yep. Okay, so you're of Tobog. Yes, we. I fought it there. I was helping make the war machines, but I became afflicted. Uh, with this disease, but it is probably my fault. I have failed Lord Vecna on the field of battle, and this is my punishment. Uh, I just need something to eat. No, it's not your fault. It's that treacherous fool Cass's Don't. fault. Oh, it is. It is that bastard Cass, the betrayer. Exactly. Hey, so uh, why are you... So loyal to Vecna. He is our I mean, Lord and obvious. Savior. He is our God. Oh, would you say this? <laughs> yeah. Come on. You know this. He's just testing you. So, I mean, has, personally, is Lord Vecna back in the city? 
I get he must be here. Why would he leave? He's stuck here like the rest of us, trapped here we, for eternity. We heard rumors of him uh, seeing a god named Sirik. I do not know this god. Well, there is only one true god. That is our Lord and Savior, Vecna. True, that's exactly what I was thinking. I, you know, it just infuriated me to think that someone else could claim the title of God. Yeah, like, like we were saying, we were just testing you because, you know, some people, when they don't have all the things that they feel that they should have, they just blame the people at the top, and we didn't want to give anything to someone who just didn't appreciate our... Lord and Savior. It's time to roll me a deception here. Well, I got a plus two charisma. You leave so... it now. And... <laughs> yeah, yep. I was just gonna move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was almost an eighteen. Now it's a four. All right, we'll get my insight. Yes, an eighteen. He's... Hey, can um, can someone help me somehow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, waste all your silvery barbs right now. Oh my god, am I gonna have to use another one? I think I am. Right. Um, yeah, I'll fucking silvery barbs, I guess. <laughs> okay, come I'll on. I'll silvery barbs, and so that means you get to roll an advantage, and he gets to roll a disadvantage. Alright, so. so yes. Okay, that's Hold an 11. Nine. That's better. Oh, I got an 11. Okay, so he, for a second, he looks and squints, and he says, Okay, do you do you have that food, please? Yeah, we're just going to say this is time magic. That's what we're going to say. We're uh, time magic. <laughs> I'm going to give him, like, some rations from, like, my backpack or <gasps> something. Thank you. I'm so and I'm, hungry. And, and I'm going to give him three electrum pieces also. He looks food from the front. Comrade, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. And Lord Vecna bless all of you. And he looks at the electrum and he goes, These are so shiny and new. You just arrived here? Please. No, we we actually cleaned those off for you. Amazing. Because we didn't want you to have to hand dirty coins in when you want to buy more food. I thank you. I thank you so much. And he starts tearing into the rations. I'm going to grab everyone and push us to leave. It's right. time to go. <laughs> Which way are you going around this building here? So you can go to the left or right of it. A stick left. You got a fork, always go left. Yes. All right. So put your character anywhere where I just revealed and we are heading in the direction of the castle right um from what you can see yes you're cool. actually inside this skull right now oh okay That's you're inside, inside the skull, skull. Castle skull oh the skull. yeah yeah same i i, I thought that we would yeah That's wait cool. so that area on top of the skull yeah. Are those like high rise towers or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so those are out. You don't know they exist because you're inside, mm. but mm. those are part of Vecna's palace. They reach so high up, they come out of the top part of his towers and uh, out of the top of the skull. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Here you are, and there seems to be some um, training exercises going on, and you can't get away from the eyeballs of some of these soldiers as they look at you but don't do anything as they see you. They continue, they see you, but they go back to doing sword practices and uh, fighting each other. Keep walking. Okay. Which way are you going? To the left or right of this building? Let's see. You can see this area. Tell me the soldiers are not. 
go the side that's further from the soldiers. It's pretty much this whole plaza that you're in. There's a let's do a add ten to this. So eighteen are kind of so nine and nine are breaking off and uh, training each other. Oh, so they're on both sides. What's that? They're on both sides. So like there's nine no, on one side. right in the plaza, right around you. You kind of like are hovering around the edges, and so there's people milling about around the edges, kind of. Looking down, not looking forward, uh, not trying not trying not to make eye contact with anybody, and going. Uh, we can just keep to the edges and just move around. If then which side? Move the left again. Yeah. Why not? Let's go left. All right. So, in the middle of this plaza is a priest, and he is saying. Everyone must bow to Lord Vecna. Lord Vecna is our ruler and savior. And then he points to you three. And he says, you there, foreigners, please come talk to us. Um, and he points I out. guess. Bah. <laughs> Bad. Should we keep moving or should we go talk to him? What's the point of us talking? Okay, oh, I guess. I mean, we can go talk to him if you guys want to. <laughs> but, like, I just see this ending very badly. Oh, 100%. But, like, he's a priest, so we kind of probably have to if we don't want to seem like weirdos. So... Oh, please. And he walks towards you, gets off of his little soapbox goes up to you guys the so they, five people who are around him listening look on as he approaches you he says you you do not seem like you have been here long are you part of vecna's faithful sure yes are you one of vecna's faithful also I am a memory of vecna I am one of his priests here to Give a lecture to these lizards. Oh my, a memory? I'll like drop down on one knee. Oh, oh please. What do you mean a memory? Rise, rise. Us memory of Vecta are sacred priests here to to teach and preach his gospel. It's, which is, it's wonderful to be in the presence of one so holy. I appreciate it and please visit the Temple of Vecna and he gives you a uh, directions to where the, the temple your, your is. holiness your, I'll, I'll actually reach out a hand if I, if I may yeah and, and then I'll say uh, being so new here could you give us could you point us in the direction of different points of interest for the city that we might see ah well you should definitely visit the temple of of vecna which is at the the mouth of the great city but you may see the fortress of the fingers which is a great keep that has all of our soldiers you also have a uh, Vecna's palace in the heart of the city. There are many different places, but please, you'll have eternity here to search all that you want. Please, pray with me to the Lord Vecna. And we meet you at the temple. My friends yeah. and us are, are, are very wary from our travels, and I, and I would like to have all my mental energy dedicated towards this prayer with you. Can we meet you later? Why, certainly. Please. You'll be at the temple, right? I will. Definitely. Definitely. We'll come see you then. What was your name again, Your Holiness? We lose our names when we join the memory of Vecna. We oh. are simply priests of Vecna. I'm sorry, Your Holiness. I didn't mean to cry. It is okay. We can tell you have just arrived. Like I said, you will have eternity to understand these things. 
well, we won't take up too much of your time. You can get back to your sermon. But we'll definitely come see you later. And he bows and he turns back to his soapbox, gets on and starts saying, Vecna, it will lead us to victory. We will be one under Vecna's rule. Oh, and he going trails to off. Follow his directions and keep away from the keep. And then when we get around a corner, I'm going to spit off to the side. <laughs> to fuck this place. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are we going to the temple? I don't really... Like this spec, no. Oh, we're not going to the temple. Oh, <laughs> we're definitely not yeah. going to the temple. Uh, we're but, we're never know, going there. We do know now where the palace is, so we can go there. And sorry, our goal here is to stop Vecna from... I'll stop and I'll start... Oh, but you can't. You don't have one of our bracelets. So uh, I'll use message and just kind of whisper. Our goal here is to... Stop Vecna from ascending, isn't it? Well, yeah. yeah. Do we have any idea how to do that or what that means? I'm guessing that we'll at least find some answers at, at his palace where he t took Shar there. All right, yeah, let's head to the palace. And which way are you going, to the left or to the right of this? Well, well, I just want to have, yeah, he yeah. told you to take the route. Pretty much in the heart of the city. So, pretty much you see a couple of people uh, milling about, going in and out of a storefront right in front of you. There seems to be some uh, food of some sort wafting up through the air from this uh, building like a bakery kind of more more of like a general uh good store you don't want to grab something or keep moving it hurt might as well grab some food well, maybe they have hot dogs and we can more. try this magical bakery that you were speaking of it's in the city right in the oh, city rules keith keith I'll baker oh yeah i'll walk into the food store okay as you walk in, there is a balding older man. He is has an apron on, sunken face, dark eyes, like um, bags under his eyes, like he hasn't slept in days. Uh, gray skin. Um, he looks up and he goes, "You." These are faces I've never seen before. What can I do it's, for you? Yeah, what's the uh, what's the special? Well, we don't have and get much around here. We make do with what we have. We have sliced meat. Um, we have roasted rat on sticks. We have potato soup oh mm -hmm. and we do have bread I see well we can I'll take some grab bread. something that we can eat while we walk here is some bread and some rat on a stick you know I'm, I'm I'd rather just take the sliced meat personally you know Okay. Well, what is I'm already the... I'm already eating some of the rat on the stick. Okay. Yeah. All right. One of those for me too. Okay. Yeah, well, what is the 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 meat sliced meat? What what is that? Um. Well, we have some. We like to keep our secrets here. About... You know, I, I recently went vegan anyway, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I'll just take some bread. It's okay. Okay. And total total comes to about maybe uh, seven copper pieces. I'll give one electron. He looks at the coin and he's like, "You guys definitely aren't from around here. Where are you from?" Well, we're newly arrived faithful, Vecna. Oh, Lord Vecna, our Lord and Savior. Yes. 
Can I do you I know inside how to check get... that to see? Are if you also a faithful? Uh... Oh, sorry, Charles. What was that? Can I inside check that to see if yeah. he's like, oh, good, some more, or if he's like, plus two to my roll here. In Nineteen. Thing. Go for it. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, just thirteen. Yeah. Just telling the truth. Okay. Okay. So, uh, are you also one of the faithful? Oh, we are all part of his faithful here. It's Everything nice and here, no Vecna knows all, and so he all does. are his servants. He's all seeing. All seeing. Do you um? Do you have any special sites around here that you that you like to go to or see? No, I keep to myself. Keep busy. I see. Do not really deal how with is it, much. Everything. How is it living under our Lord? It is, it is wonderful. I can't ask for a better Lord and Savior to protect yeah. us from Kos, the betrayer. The betrayer. I can't wait to get to the front. Oh, good luck. We could use... A, a hand that will tip the tide. Speaking of, where is the front? Well, there is only one road out of here, and it leads towards Tovag. Mm. Do I've not a lot about step that off that road. If you get lost, you will perish for sure, and will not be reborn. Who does Kaz command? Is it I've, I've heard stories that he might be undead or a vampire of sorts. I actually do not know much of this cause other than that he betrayed our Lord and shall perish. But I do not know or have seen anything, any images of cause here will get you killed and destroyed. Makes sense, he's the betrayer. Well, we won't take too much of your time. Thank you for the bread and... Please. The rustic. I'm just gonna look at the... <laughs> I'm gonna say the bread. <laughs> and... <laughs> I'll be seeing you. All right. And let's go. So you step on out and... You can move your character to the right, right here. I'm trying my hardest to dodge these questions. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's not easy. Right, right there. You not go. easy. I, I've decided that I'm pretty much not going to say anything else to any of these people here <laughs> thanks to the first time that I tried it. I am masterfully <laughs> dodging these questions as best I can. <laughs> like, no, no, don't worry. Are you also one of the faithful? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hell be to Vecna. Um, so, you guys hear this pitiful wail spoken in a recognizable common that says, Oh gods, you've come. You've finally come. And a young woman, ragged, uh, comes rushing up to you. Tears are streaming down her filthy cheeks. And she is both laughing and sobbing at the same time. And she says, I've, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I, I saw you in my dreams, but you never came. But now, now you're here. Now, now you can take me away from this awful place. You will take me away, right? I'm going right? to place a hand over her mouth and say, "Lower your tone." Okay. Oh, uh, I, I know. It's, it's I know. all right. What, uh, what did know. you see? You were drawing attention to us. Sorry. I'm sorry. She looks around, her eyes darting away, and she goes, "I know each of you has been part of the Lord of Secrets within you." But that's just so you can defeat him and the old one, right? You're not evil or corrupt, are you? You you won't die while fulfilling your destiny, will you? 
Please, please don't die. You have to succeed and rescue me from this horrible place. Uh, who are you? Uh, my name is Valorous. I, I, I stumbled upon this place. I am originally from Darkon, uh, another plane, but I fled here after my, my father died, and now I'm stuck here. But I, I've been dreaming about you guys. Well, Valorous. Oh, no. What else happened in your dreams? Well, I, I dreamt that someone who has the eye of Vecna and the hand of Vecna will find his sword and kill Vecna. I shouldn't say that out loud, but you I can should have not it. say that out loud at all. Oh. He said there was a sword. Ah, <laughs> you know. Okay, yeah. wait. The sword, can we, can I, can I history check that? Um, sure. Roll me another history, uh, yeah, not religion, history for a 21. Oh, it's, it's okay. Oh, never mind. Say another chance. Success. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Nice never lies. <laughs> no, sorry. Never lies. Doesn't ring a bell. And, uh, was it one of us that had those things? I, I do, my dreams, they come to me, and sometimes they are blurry or a mishmash sure. of, of things, but I know you'll win. I've, I've seen you standing over Vecna's destroyed curbs, corpse. I've seen you win. You'll win. You need to go to the palace. You need to face him in the throne room, and you'll win. But... One of you needs to wear the hand. Are you wearing the hand? If not, you need to. And quick. You need to wear the hand. Get, well, how, how do we get the hand? hand? Yeah. I don't know. If I knew, I'd be wearing it myself. And then you need to get the sword. The sword of the traitor, Koss. It's, it's kept in the palace. In Vecna's own library. You must wear the hand. That was Vecna's. Go to the palace. But please, take me with you. Please, please. I cannot live here for any longer. Yeah. Well, you can come with us. Are you... what, about, what about the eye? You need to wear the eye as well. Are Is you capable of fighting? I I can fight. And she reaches into... Uh, hmm, who's, cl who's closest to... Her. I'm gonna go um let's do a D6 and that would be Ruben. She reaches quickly to try to get your sword. Let's have a dex off here. Straight 20. Here for okay. me. Okay, dexterity. Uh, a 19. Heck yeah. Ooh. You... I don't actually have all that dexterity. I've only got plus one. Uh so just a dexterity check. Yep. All right. You got a sword. That one. That one. I got that one. So yeah. She grabs your sword out. Um. And she. Am I able to react? Um. In one second. So as she reaches out and grabs the sword, you hear a voice behind you guys say, "You, mad woman! I thought I told you to stop bothering citizens." Then a group of 10 humans with black tabards over their chainmail armor approach you. A skeletal <sighs> hand with a lidless eye in his palm is embroidered on their tabards over their chests. They resemble city watchmen, but they are better equipped with the most city watches as they are armed with battle axes and long swords. Ragged citizens hurry out of their way. They may be foreigners like yourself, Valorous, but they don't give you leave to disobey my orders, continues the speaker, a bald man carrying a battle axe. For your disobedience, you will be taken to the plaza and impaled after your trial, of course. With a wild shriek, Valorous drops the weapon she holds. No, no, you can't kill me. They're here to save me. She suddenly bolts into the alley. 
After her, cries the bald man, gesturing his, with his ass. Kill her if you must. The other humans obey without hesitation, drawing their weapon. All right, can we stop them, guys? Is that, <laughs> is that cool with y'all? Wow. Well, I'll just yell, Valorous, get back here. And I'll uh, try to put myself between the, the guards and her. I will actually step up to the uh, the head guard, like the, the yeah. leader of the guards, yep, the bald man, and say uh, that we're we're newly summoned faithful. Uh, we were actually converting her to the faith of Vecna before she uh, before you walked over. If you would allow for us to continue speaking with her i think that we could bring her over to the temple she she is crazy she has been bothering and she is everybody i you agree she is crazy i think she... that she is crazy but i think that can be turned into more faith for vecna for the lord okay roll me a persuasion and and he says, when we will find her, we will bring you to her, or if you find her before our men. But he already had a couple of men run down the alley towards her. One of our friends yeah, is I, also taking off to yeah. go get her as well. Okay. And I'm going to look over at, oh my God, I'm terrible with names. I'm, I'm absolutely terrible with names. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest. Who is right next to me? You Who is still next to me? Kiergan. Kiergan's next to me. Okay. I was like, Kiergan, no, can good. you telepathically tell him uh, that we have negotiated to have her brought to the temple with us? I, I do that. I thought okay. you could. I thought you had a bracelet, right? Did you have a bracelet? Yeah, I do that. Yes, I'm saying yeah. that that's what I do. Oh, you do that. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes. Okay. So I was trying to get between her and the guards. Yeah. How is that working? Okay, so she dropped the sword and ran. So she dashed. So she is at least 60 feet around the building, just out of sight when they started to run but they were only running 30 feet, so she's got another 30 feet on them. And run 70 feet. And you can run 70? Yeah, okay. if I die. Okay. So you turn and flash by the soldiers and are right in front of her, right? She can run yeah, 60. So, so I'll just like kind of grab her shoulder. I just got word. We're not gonna let them hurt you. We can go back. They're gonna let you stay with us. Don't, don't trust anything these people say. I and, don't. And as you stop her and do say this, they finally catch up their swords out and they say, we have been ordered to keep you under guard here for a trial. Follow us. And they grab her each by an arm and begin to try to drag her back. If, yeah, if they try to grab her, I'll put her behind me and just, we just got word, she just stay with us, but don't touch her. We have orders and we do not know who you are, foreigner. We'll come with you. We're headed the same way. Then follow us and they don't let go of her. Uh, and they drag her back to their commander. And he says, Valorous, you must leave these foreigners alone. The, you will keep pestering everyone around. This is the last warning I will give you. You are lucky these men here have come to your rescue, or you. this would have been the last time. They Thank you, Commander. Sheaf yep. their sword. She is your problem now. We'll make sure to keep her uh, in line. 
We appreciate you, Commander. And Hell Vecna. Hell Vecna. Lord Vecna, the ruler of all, the Whispered One. And he says, men, let's go. And they take off. I'm just going to look her in the eye and say, look, woman, I'm <laughs> trying not to die here. <laughs> You're making that very, very hard to do. I need you to get a grip I, I, I'm, I'm, and stop yelling. I'm sorry. Stop letting. I, stop doing anything. I, Just sit there. I'm going to see how she's going to take this. Uh... Here, I'm standing there with my hand oh my on gosh. my shoulder. She's kind of freaking out a little bit. She's starting to rock back. She's like starting to laugh and then automatically cry. And she definitely has some uh, mental problems. I'm just standing there with my hand on her shoulder until That's the guards are out of sight. They're out of sight now. Okay. I'm just going to say to her, can you just tell us where the nearest inn is? We can go to an inn, calm down, buy a room, and we can go to the temple later. And she the palace later. She kind of points into uh, a direction um, to the north of you. Okay, it's fine. Just Valors, is there any Hold reason? On. That to Kyrgyz and we can just we can just move there okay and she holds on to Kyrgyz and Charles what did you want to say I was just gonna ask is there any reason that we need to go right this second to the palace rather than sit and rest a minute are you talking to her yeah she's like well the sooner we can find the sword the Sooner we can leave this place. This place is driving me mad. All right. All right. Well, that's a good reason. But uh, I think sitting down for a minute might help, too. Yeah. So. Um, oh. I'm just going to speak through, like, the, the wristband thing, make sure that she can't hear it. Is there, like, any sort of spell that you can cast on this girl so that she doesn't lose her mind or something? Uh, it's not really my wheelhouse. I could, uh, I could, uh, I don't know, man. I can, I can enhance you your calm emotions or something. No, I wish I had a spell that just calmed emotions, but yeah, I don't. I could enhance yeah. her wisdom that might help her get a clearer head, but um, I wouldn't be able to do that until tomorrow. I think she'll, I think she'll clear up once we, uh, once we have a minute to sit her down. Well, hopefully. Oh, I keeping just an eye on her. I just hope. remembered. Um, sorry to interrupt, but I just remembered when we started that fight earlier with the three ghouls or whatever they were. Yep. Because I was raging, I gave everyone four temporary hit points. I forgot to mention that. It's fine. I remembered like an hour, fifteen minutes later. <laughs> hey, <laughs> never know when that matters. Wrong deal. Are you uh? Are you hoping to uh, like sleep for the night or just stay we can for just an hour? stay for about an hour, kind of recollect our thoughts before moving on. Hopefully, sure. somebody can free. I mean, if, if you want to stay for the whole eight hours, we can do that as well. If you have some way of no, calming her, because maybe we can get more information at that point. I think that we should just do an hour and keep moving. I don't want to okay. be here any longer than we need to be, and. uh if we stay for yeah. the night, what's to say that they won't surround us with guards and bring us in and her in in a less peaceful way? What's well, also to say that that he does the thing and we can't stop him by that point because it's been eight hours. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Last time I slept somewhere with a crazy cold, it didn't turn out so well. <laughs> so uh, I'd rather avoid that. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. So let's go into the end then. All right. So she leads you to this building right here, and it's called the Scattered Bones. And as you 
enter, there is skulls and bones lining everything. There is a desk with that a man is sitting behind. He is asleep, snoring as you enter. Knock on the wall. Like a, like a waiting room? Yeah, it's sort of room. like a waiting room. There, behind this desk, there are stairs that go up. It is, it's pretty low, like, it's not the highest clientele <laughs> will be here. What are you guys I'll doing? Tap the bell on the okay. counter. Yeah. He, oh, 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 sorry. Uh, yes. You're perfectly fine, my man. What, um, what can we do for you? We just would like a a room, please. A, a room. No problem. That's going to be one gold piece, please. Must be a premium price. I'll slide him a gold coin. We usually have officers staying here overnight. That's why we apply the gold piece, please. I see. Upstairs to the left, here is the key, and the key is this black key with a skull on it. It's like, you may have the room. We will be checking you out as soon as you can tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take the key. All right. And as you guys walk up the stairs, this, uh, the staircase is creaking as you walk up and you open the door and it is bare bones of a uh, inn. There's a bed, there's a window, there is a chair and a small round table. One gold coin is highway robbery. I mean, who knows, maybe this is the best place to stay in town. He's been trapped here his whole life. He deserves a gold piece. Yeah. Oh, it's I'm nice to know you guys are altruistic. All right, I'm mm. going to sit and uh, recover some of my juju real quick. Okay. So we, you guys said an hour? Yeah, just yeah, a short we'll an okay. hour. Um, I want to commune with my sword to see if I could possibly finally okay. connect to it. Yeah. So why don't you roll me a wisdom, please? Can it be an arcana? No. Puzzle? No. It's wisdom. Um, let's do it. Here we go. What does that have to be? Uh, 15. 15. Okay, well, I'm going to have silvery barbs. All right. Use all them barbs. Yes. It's about time. So Finally. It's a small room, so everybody's going to be able to hear you. All right. And it's fine. I'm thinking, is this going to be... I'll let you uh, flavor this how you want. Do you want this out loud or in your head? It's going to be in my head. Okay. But I'll look crazy talking to my sword. Yeah, That's yeah, fine. yeah. So you're we're doing what with the sword right now as you're concentrating and making a connection? I am... I just have the sword in my lap. It's kind of hovering, and my eyes are closed. I'm just sitting in, like, a cross-like position. So... Where are we? This is a very interesting plane. When I first respond, I'm going to respond, like, speaking out loud. Okay. Because I'm not used to, like, speaking telepathically. Yeah. So I'm just going to say, we're in the shadow fell. I've heard of this place. What are we doing here? Shouldn't we be searching out in the Astral Sea? We are here to stop Vecna. Um, Name is familiar. Let me see. No, um, I don't. Well, let the dice decide here. Sorry, I does not ring a bell. He is the. It's fine. You've been asleep a while. Um, he is the legendary lich who rose to godhood. Mm. Commonly named, also. The Whispered One. Well, that seems like a very dangerous prospect. What does that have to do with our people and getting us back? Well, 
uh, if Vecna is able to rise to godhood, I could pretty much spell the end of civilization as we know it. Mm, makes sense. Well, what's the plan? Pretty much head over and sit inside of the, uh, the palace and see if we can find the Sword of Kaz. It's also a sentient sword. Um, and also find the hand of Vecna and the eye of Vecna. Oh, that's it? Seems pretty easy. <laughs> You're telling me. So I was wondering, what are you able to do? What am I able to do? Up until this point, I've pretty much just seen you with a regular sword. Very nicely made one, but seemed like a regular one. Well, our bond will grow stronger over time in practice. I will begin to grow in power with you. As of now, that is up to you on what I do. Not up to me. I see. Okay. I have a question. Well, just, yeah. Are you good or bad? I'd say I'm pretty good. Hmm. We all have a mix of good and evil within us. It is about containing that. And I'm wondering how good you are on containing that chaos inside of all of us. I, well, I mean, what have you observed? As of now, you have made a bold choice. And I'm interested in to see where this choice leads you. Beware, this road you lead is treacherous. Probably about time we cut this conversation short, seeing as uh, everyone in the room is probably looking at me now. Yeah. Well, well there's also uh, Valorous looks at you and says, I I hear voices too. It's okay. Yeah. This must be some of the air. All right. Well, everybody, let's time to go. <laughs> time to go there. Yeah. What are you doing in this, um, in this time? I'm just going to, I'm just going to go up and I'm just going to say, you know, I, I, I know how that is. I, I get really attached to my swords too, but <laughs> you probably just shouldn't, you know, do that. You know, I'm glad that we're all connecting here on this, but I <laughs> promise you it's not what you think. <laughs> so, uh, time to go. <laughs> hey, don't, there's no need to be ashamed. Um, we've no. all heard voices at some point. Yeah, all of us. Sometimes it's just a god talking to you. Sometimes it's just... You're going insane because you've seen a lot of shit. It, yeah, can, like, it can be a lot. Most of us, you know, we hear some aspect of, like, gods or something, and you hear your sword, and I think that's really neat of you. Yeah, that's really... Well, that's... Good job, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what <laughs> that. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so silly. I also, during the short rest, used Arcane Recovery to get got some it. spell slots back. So I'm going to do that as well. Okay. You got it. Right, and Valors, you just... can you uh, guide us to the palace? She says, yes, yes, follow me. And as if you... If breaks out, you can't run. Just yes. stay between... I don't okay. know, like, uh, just stay near me. Okay. Worst okay. case, stay near Cure again. Also, be careful with that sword. Or she, and, like, she never took it. it off of her. No, she oh, she it. dropped it? Oh, yeah, okay. she dropped it. Well, I had to leave for a brief moment, so I didn't yeah, hear we, that bit. No problem. I guess so. I... Sweet, I guess I hand her a, um... Here, uh, I, can, I have something I can give her. And I'll just give her my, uh, my plus one poison dagger. Ooh. Okay. If she I was gonna give her my long sword, but that's cool. She's like, don't use you. this unless you absolutely have to. And try not to prick yourself. Actually, matter of fact, do you have a sheath? She does. <laughs> she does. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I was just looking over her stats, and she has. She does have a knife. Okay. Yep. Huh. All right, Valorous, lead away. And she goes down the stairs and as you go down the stairs there is a man uh waiting there and he's like oh okay you're right 
There are Outlanders here. And he looks so powerful. Maybe, maybe you guys can plead my case to Lord Harlan. Harlan. Hey, un unfortunately, I don't think we really have the time. But, you know, I'm sure you'll be all right, Ben. And yeah, what? Yeah. What do you want us to do? Please, my, my, please, my, my young daughter, Innova, was seized by the fingers last week and was taken to the palace. The magistrates have refused to hear her, my pleas, and, and I've been denied audience with the arm of Vecna. The man, my wife, me and my wife, we just, we don't know why she was seized, oh, but we're desperate. We, we would want her returned. My, my daughter is beautiful, and that might be why she was taken. Please, I, I have these 13 copper pieces. It's all I have for my savings. If you could please go there and plead her case. We can't promise anything, but we'll okay. do our best to see her soon. Super, super, super quick. Uh, you know, just gonna group huddle here. Group huddle. We'll, we'll be right with you. Uh, yes. We cannot save everyone. I, I know <laughs> it's gonna like it's gonna eat away at everybody. I get it. These people are damned. They are in the realm of Vecna himself. The more we kick up a storm by doing things that draw attention to us, the more chance of us being discovered. Are you guys sure that you want to help him with this? Not his fault that his daughter's damned, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try anything. We're headed to the palace anyway. We can't promise anything. But um, if we see her, we should get her out. Okay, all right. Why not? Fuck it. Okay. Okay. Sir, uh, we uh, we can't promise anything, but we will try our best. I, I thank you. And keep your money. Save it in case uh, you can buy her something. Buy her cake. As you make your way down out of the inn, you see a open area within Citadel Covidus. The cramped streets now opens to this wide, broad plaza. Five gallows stand upon the ground, each guarded by skeletal troops. In the distance, Vecna's palace reaches towards the darkened sky. All in all its glory, its massive stone structure that bears the distance resemblance up to, to a hand as five towers jut from its tops. Four of the towers are identical, slender and bone white, seemingly carved from the same substance as the rest of the citadel. The fifth, however, is a deep black spire, soaring higher than the other any other tower than the heroes have ever seen. Its top, so distant that it is difficult to see. You guys gaze upon the Palace of Vecna, your destination. And that's where we're going to leave you guys this episode and we'll go with a closing scene here we are in the uh in gray space just above Greyhawk or earth you see the parhalon the massive uh battalion ship that you guys took from dominion sphere its left side is a blaze as it begins to slowly turn and begin a retreat. The Elven Citadel, upon it are 12 major helms occupied by 12 Elven mages, though three are slumped 
dead by radiant blasts. Princess Zaleth shouts, We leave! Make haste to Solaris! The citadel slowly lumbers away as these scrow ships strafe its exterior.